Well, today we're going to go over how to clean the condenser on on your Harvest Strike right freezer. You can see the blue is what it should be, and the other part. I don't know if we can get in close enough to actually see, but you can see all that collecting on there, and all that's going to affect the way it it uh, works. So what we're going to do is on the back. There's a whole bunch of little Allen screws. We're going to take all all those off. And then get back in here and then clean that out and vacuum it out and uh, blow it blow it out so let me get the screws off the back and then we'll show you our next step okay all right now i got all the screws off we're going to get inside so let me set this panel down here now we got to clean these the coils off back here on the condenser remember it shows you all that stuff on there i got an old toothbrush i'm going to use to clean that so I'm going to get back in here and scrape these off because this will keep it from working very good. And you don't want anything hard because you don't want to bend those coils, the fins on the condenser here. That's how much gunk we've had down there. So let's see if we can get more of this off. Try and get my hands back in here. Looks like you need an extension. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff on there. Make it work harder, take longer to work, puts more strain on your on your system. Why don't you take that paint stick and tape it to it, honey? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get back there. There's a paint stick on the left side of the counter, kitchen counter there. Yeah. We've got not too bad down the bottom, a little bit of a dust down there, but yeah, not too bad on the bottom. Just need to get the coils cleaned out. Just got about an inch or two. Yep, and get just that little bit there. Now, one thing you want to remember when you're inside of here, these are copper tubes. They're very soft. They bend easy. And because they're soldered, there may be little pieces of solder, might be sharp edges on them. So as you're getting your hand back in there, you want to make sure you don't put any pressure on, on these copper lines. Because if you bend them, you're, you're going to have a lot of problems. So, let me see if I can get back here a little bit more. And another pile of them. Yeah. Yeah, get one little spot is off. I think probably gonna have to because we have cats in the house and you always have cat hair with them. I might have to take and clean this off about every time I do the uh, uh, the oil. Yep, filter the oil. Because you do that after about every um, Ooh, pretty good five times you do it. Just watch this and see what it does. There you go. All right. That's what I've gotten off of there, caked on there so far, and that's that's a lot, a lot of hair and dirt and dust. So now 
I'll get the vacuum in here and see if we can vacuum out more of this. As you can see back in here, a little bit lower so you can see in there, you have, there's all your electronics. You're going to be careful of that. That is a big capacitor right there. I'm not getting my fingers any closer than that. If you come in contact with that, it will zap you because it's going to hold charge for a long time. So whenever you're doing here cleaning, make sure you stay away from this electronics back here on this side. So just always make sure you stay away from that. And down here, if you can see in here a little bit better, with the light here, you can see all the copper tubing and it runs around there. So if you bend any of that, especially look at this little coil back over in here, that's a real, real fine one. If you bend that, you, you're going to have problems with it. You, you're going to have to probably have uh, uh, sent back to them and they're going to have to fix it. And that's not going to be a free charge. So uh, make sure you're careful when you're cleaning inside of here. A little bit of dust isn't going to hurt anything, but you just want the coils clean. And as you can see on the coils here, they all look nice and blue. I think you can do it without the flash that on there, just getting closer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You can see that's, if it gets where you start, start seeing where it's not blue in there, it's time to pull this back off and clean it. So now all we need to do is... Put the back back on now if you come around here and look you notice the power has been disconnected you always want to work on it with a power disconnected don't take a chance because if you get your hand in here it can zap you so uh, always make sure the power is undone i didn't go that at the front but i want to make sure you know here's here's the power cord for it that way we don't have any power to the unit now you don't have to worry about zapping it all right well i'm going to put screws back in I just kind of go the reverse of what we took them out. When you're putting them on over around this power thing over here, it's a little bit loose. So you have to be careful. You know, this is a little bit loose down here because there's a couple screws down here still holding it. Those you don't need to take out. So just be careful when you put that back on that you don't get them uh, stripped out or anything. And there is a little bit of movement in this. So you can put one of the screws in and then get a couple lined up. And then once you get a couple of them in, snugged up, you'll be good to go. So we'll come back. Once we get all this done, we're going to start our next load once we get this covered all back up. So I just kind of go from here and, and just line them up, get them started. And it helps if you do want it like both ends. Find another another slot that you can get to, because these holes are larger than what the screws are. Gives you a little bit of play. Now it's been held in place. I can work on the rest of the screws, and we'll come back once I get all those back in. Okay, now in part of our cleaning, go through our cleaning. We're going to take this outside piece off. It's just a rubber seal, and then you can start sliding the trays out. Now you have to be careful because on the back of it is a connection that you're going to have to undo. <laughs> right here, you're going to have to undo this connection. And it looks like that just... Some of these connectors are tight they're tight there you go all right so now we'll take this tray you gotta carefully set it somewhere so i don't want to see you'll be fine now 
Now we get back and clean back in here and see stuff will fall down in here once in a while. This looks like uh, it might have been from the basil or something. So we're going to clean this once in a while. Our drain back here. Make sure it's it's open. And we still have it unplugged from doing the uh, cleaning of the condenser coils. And this you probably only have to do, depending on what you're putting in here, if you're getting stuff that kind of falls down, that's on the outside of it, then you're going to want to do that. I wouldn't use anything in here other than just the paper towels. I don't know what's safe to use and what's not, so I suppose we get all the harvest right. They'll tell us how we can clean inside, but that's basically what we're going to do. We can look at on these trays to see if there's anything on them because we can get to them now. There, there's a few things on here, yeah. so. Let's go ahead and do a little cleaning inside of there. We'll take a damp rag and clean inside of there. You can't get too very far in here with your hands because it's so small. But with a out, I can get to the sides. Okay, that's wiped down. Go ahead and connect it back up. Goes on to you hear it snap. Put that back in here. Now, you want to make sure you don't have it caught this side because it'll flow this side. So, you may have to get a. I can turn this once I get the seal back on. But I put a little level on here, make sure it's level. And just put the seal back on. Now, I did see a thing one time where you can use this to vacuum seal your bags. You take this tray out, you take this out to so get the tray out, put this back in. You can go into test mode and do vacuum. And you can actually vacuum seal your, or you can vacuum out the air out of your Mylar bags as well. We have a regular vacuum sealer, so I may try that to see if that seals it up. It, that's all done. Now I just grab a level, just make sure it's level in there. And we'll be ready to fire it up, get our next load going. So that's uh, cleaning on it. Clean the condenser coil and clean the, t the tank. Make sure it's got everything cleaned out of it. You want to keep it clean. I'm probably going to have to do this. Um, you know, probably every time I clean the, the oil, about every five or six times, depending on what the coils look like. If they're starting to get dirty, then I'll clean everything. Just kind of do a maintenance on it. That'll make them last a lot longer because you don't want them. The pump are going to be struggling to get air flowing through. Because this is kind of like a little vacuum. It's going to suck everything in. It gets near it. So if you have dust environments, you got windows open, you have pets, you know, you know, cats, uh, dogs, um, even people with long hair. <laughs> anything you get coming out, down in here is going to get sucked right up into here. <laughs> and just watch it and get it cleaned out when, whenever it gets that way. So that's it. Have fun freeze drying and look for the next video.